Hey yo, what's up everybody? Holmes here and welcome back to more Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough. Real walkthrough, not a playthrough with my dex build. And yeah, welcome back. Today we are going to be taking on the Crystal Cave area uh, along with uh, Seath the Scaleless. Because um, we barely have anything left in the Crystal Cave. And I don't want to just make like a three minute video of me running from this bonfire to Seath. Because that'll be pretty freaking pointless. So we're gonna take on Seath in this, uh, in this episode, and uh, in the next episode we'll take on the Demon Ruins, and then the Tomb of Giants, and then we're done. <laughs> we're pretty close to the end game now. Well, actually, the Demon Ruins is uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a well, it's not really a pain. It's just it's a little longer. I think as like cuz um I don't know I always imagine it to be fairly a fairly lengthy area but if you do the whole covenant thing you can just go you can just go from demon ruins and straight to the the key boss area you don't have to go through two extra bosses but I will, because uh, I know not all of you guys will do the whole covenant thing. But if you do do the whole covenant thing, you just skip the two bosses if you want. Alright, so we're back on this invisible path of death. <laughs> there is an invisible path right here. I just want to point that out right now. Okay, you can see that there's a snow the, the, the flakes are actually landing. And there is a path here. But there's like, it's kind of curved at this point somewhere. Because I always slip off and die. So... Just remember that there is a path right here, okay? Because I'm gonna explain why I'm pointing this out right now. Okay, once you get to this path right here, this is where the crystal is at, or was at, and you go through that whole other path to get the whole Titanite slab, uh, the blue Titanite slab. Now, right here, you can see this item right here. You can drop down. If you walk straight, you can drop down and grab it. It's a blue Titanite chunk. Uh, you can also fight this golem if you want. It doesn't really drop anything special other than the souls. Um, so you can do that, take them out, grab the item, and then you can use that path right there. You can see the snowflakes falling right there. You can take this path all the way back up to where I was pointing at, where I, sh uh, where I shot the arrow. So that is what you can do if you want. Or you can just grab, the, kick his ass, grab the item, and just homer bone and just run back if you don't want to die. So that is that okay uh next up this path right here should just be a straight run you can see right there that, the little pointy part right there you kind of just want to follow it okay just follow it go straight don't don't zigzag and you'll make it to the end right here okay and the end over here there are some um some of these cursed clam things well, not, they don't really curse your ass, but. They will drop, like, curse curing items. And you want to be kind of far when you pull one. Because if you're not, the other ones will see. And goodbye. So, that's pretty much, like, the easiest way to take these things on uh, what you can also do is you can also just run straight into that light right there that is um, when you get close to it the boss fight will will initiate but sometimes they can get caught inside a boss room so but also Seath um, can hit them as well so he can actually just help you kill them but it could also be a problem too because um you know, if he doesn't land the, the killing blow, they could just linger around and mess with you. So, I don't know. It's it's kind of a 50-50 thing, and there's another one hiding right there. Um, I'm going to pull these guys first. Just because I don't want them to be in the boss room. Even though if they are, I'll probably just bait Seath to attack.
They're not like super powerful or anything, but if you're not careful, they can kill you. Come on, you sneaky bastard. Sweet, we got a purging stone. You can't actually see the drop. Oh, we got a twinkling titanite. Because it's covered. <laughs> so you gotta walk into its shell. But yeah, if you ever get cursed, um, you can also you can always resort to just farming these guys. Ah oh, shit! I triggered both of them. This is kind of scary because I can't really see the where all the other ones dead near him. Oh, fuck it, I'm not fighting these two. They're not gonna make it in time anyway. At least I don't think they will. So, let's just go and uh, trigger the boss fight. So I'm just gonna run over here and bait him to break the crystal. And after he breaks, after he breaks his own crystal, he can be damaged and he'll be stunned for a little bit. So once you see him about to do an attack, you can just wait. You can hear him getting staggered and stuff. And you have to go to the tip end of his tail. Okay, don't try to attack the fat part because you're not gonna cut it. There we go. Moonlight great sword. And let's just finish this real fast. If I don't get slammed. Ouch. Okay, okay. Heal up. The safest place to attack him is probably just, you just hug his stomach right here. And if he's charging up like that, he's back. And then all those icicle or whatever you want to call it, it's gonna start popping up. And if you're right, if you're right on the stomach, that's gonna do some damage. But if you're just blasting beams or whatever, these fucking stuff. There we go. See? Scale this. Down. So new, now we got two lords down <laughs> with four kings and Seath. It's a ragdoll ass tail right here. It looks so squishy. And disgusting. Alright. There's a bonfire here. You don't have to homer bone or anything like that. You can just use the bonfire. And uh, yeah, let's repair our stuff. Oops. And also level up. Cool. Gonna warp to uh, Ulysseo down uh, township, so I can get uh, twenty Estus. <laughs> that's that's the whole point why I kindled it to twenty, guys. All right, now that we got twenty, let's warp to. Let's see. The Daughter of Chaos. This is the closest to the Deal Rooms as we can get. Alright, sweet.
And uh, yeah, in the next episode, we'll be taking on the Demon Ruins, which is going to be over here. Um, I guess I'll do the whole side quest thing right now, so we don't have to do it in the next episode. Uh, talk to her. Enter Covenant again. Yes, sir. And this is the point, right? Um, this is the point that you need uh, 30 humanities. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. So we got two right now, so we need 29. I mean, 28, my bad. I remember before you had to like freaking pop these one at a time in the original Dark Souls. That was that was really something. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use we're gonna offer ten and then we're gonna offer twenty. Okay, I feel like if you offer all thirty at once, it glitches, or maybe that's just me. I don't know, but I'm gonna do ten and then we're gonna do twenty. Okay, and now we're gonna offer. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm just really gonna sit down the bonfire. <laughs> Go back to her and then offer. And now we get Power Man to the Chaos Storm. That's not what I wanna do, I wanna put away this okay thing. Thank you very much. And now we, if you check your stats, it should be Chaos, Servant, plus two. And that is what we want, okay? Uh, reason for that is, um, it can, this will allow us to save Solar if, um, if you have level two on Chaos Servant, you can save Solar. If you don't have this, you can't save Solar, so. And you can't do the whole shortcut to the final boss of this area. Like, either. So yeah, I'll show you guys all what I'm talking about in the next episode. But yeah, that's it for this episode. Uh, we'll take on that whole Taurus demon area thing later. <laughs> After we take on a little bit of demon ruins. Because um, those lava is going to do a lot of damage if we just step on it. So yeah, anyways, enough rambling. That's gonna wrap it up for this episode. And actually, before I actually do my end stuff, let's check out Seath, the scaleless soul. Okay, so if you guys want to read the lore or whatever, pause the video and read this up. And that is that. So we got two out of four, so we need two more ones here, and the other one's gonna be the two of Chinese. And now we're gonna do our outro. <laughs> so yeah, thank you all for watching. Hopefully this video has been entertaining or helpful or enjoyable. And if you all found at least one of those qualities to be in this video, then hey, stay tuned for more. But until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Oops. Oops.